Hi everyone, today's the day I finally got my hands on Cursed City, both the book and the board game. Let's have a look, a quick look at both of them. I've just gotten them out of the packaging, taken the um, shrink wrap off. Uh, so here is Cursed City, the novel by C.L. Werner. Um, I think it would probably be a bit cheeky to have bought this simply to get the character card for Morval Albrecht. Um, I have got models on the way uh, to build him out of as well, but um, I think I probably need to read the novel, so I might do a bit of a review of that at some point as well. Let's pop that to one side. Now that's interesting. He has both an inspired and an uninspired side. Didn't know about that, I thought it was only the uh, the adversaries that had double-sided cards this time. We're learning new things already. Let's get this bad boy open. Okay, so first things first, we've got the sprues. Got many, many millions of bits for the adversaries. Including those snazzy new skeletons and zombies. rats and some sort of interesting objects big man himself which I mean I think means that we're probably going to end up with a separate model for him at some point just like the uh, the chaos lord with hammer that we got from Blackstone Fortress here's the heroes you find it quite fun that the largest hero and the smallest, uh, the ogre and the dwarf, are both sharing a sprue. And then the rest of the heroes. Now, the adversaries are in grey this time, and the heroes are in this sort of bone colour. Uh, probably will end up using these before they're fully painted, if I'm honest. So it's nice to be able to differentiate the two at a glance. Okay, I put that all important bit of card in here so that uh, oh, it's be nice to get a bit, a bit more artwork on there. But yes, this is mainly to stop those dents from being in the books and things. Put that there. I wasn't fibbing when I said that uh, I hadn't opened it yet. All of the components, all of the bases and the dice are all sealed away. I will probably end up replacing some of those dice uh, to make them multicoloured for the various heroes. They'll get those from my uh, slightly too large dice collection. Get those bases out of the way. We've got in here the assembly guide, the rule book, presumably the adventure book, and I believe the rules for playing Age of Sigma with these models. All the cards. Let's see, so we start to be able to see why you need Realm Stone, which is the currency in the game. Increase the damage values of this hero's melee type weapon actions by plus one slash plus naught. That's really quite nice already. And then we have Radukar the Wolf. Yeah, so that's all the character and adversary cards. There's an errata for how to put together uh, Dagnai Holdenstock, the dwarf character. Looks like they made a little bit of a change. Last minute there. Uh, after they printed everything, an advert for that book what I got with that lovely artwork on, and then all the card stock. There we have a timer uh, for the day and night cycles. 
sort of, I'm presuming, wound counters. I might be wrong. I'll have a closer look at this. This is really just a case of opening up the box and letting out my, my joy at having gotten the box finally. And we've got the eight winds of magic on that circle there. I wonder what that will portend. Uh, I know that this is the sort of rogues gallery throughout the quest you have to put down Radukar's lieutenants and these all go on the uh, on the card, special card to show that you've completed them. And Mrs. Brushstrokes will be very very pleased because there's lots of little baggies here. Uh, I suspect some of them are to be used like the stasis chambers in Blackstone Fortress. I don't know if I would have liked to have seen some kind of artwork on the bags to help differentiate them, but a bag is a bag, and it'll do what we need it to do. That's to separate out the fighters and keep all their stuff together uh, for when you next come back to the game if you have to abandon a campaign, which I suspect you will have to do. So we'll pop this back for now. As I say, I will do a more detailed look at this. Small child and work uh, schedule allowing. And as I say, I will also probably have a look at C.L. Werner's latest work here with the Blackstone, uh, Blackstone Fortress, the Cursed City. Um, I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky and keep these dice out so I can start replacing them already. Make sure we put this bit of cardboard back to preserve everything. And that's that, Cursed City. It's finally here. Hope you've enjoyed this. I know it's been a while since I've done any videos. Um, I will try and do some more, as I say, tiny little child notwithstanding. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye bye.